G'day everyone, I'm in my new shed. I've got this ply here to go up on the ceiling and it's not as smooth and nice as it could have been. In fact, it's pretty rough in places. And so I've gone and got myself a new toy. I was in Bunnings the other day and I just happened to see this and it seemed a pretty good price. So let's take a look at the Bosch Professional Blue, that is, 18 volt cordless random orbit sander kit. The GEX 18 volt 125. So it comes with a standard battery, not a Procore battery. So it's a 4 amp hour battery that uses 18650 cells. And then we've got the charger, which is the GAL 18 volt 40. And then the sander is in another box. So the sander is in the, the bare toolbox inside another box to make it a kit with the battery and the charger. So in the box of the sand you get one sheet of sanding paper, a 120 grit, you get a dust bag and you get the tool itself which is a very low profile tool. It is very comfortable in the hand. It just feels right when you put your hand on it. Just It feels nice. And put the battery on it of course to see the weight but when you compare it height wise to the Makita there you can see very different design. The Makita much taller and not quite as comfortable in the hand. The shaping of this not quite as nice. This is rounded perfectly to fit your hand. It's yeah, it's good. I mean, this is this is alright, of course, but yeah, that just instantly feels so much better. Um, I've got that four amp hour battery on charge, but let's see what it looks like with the eight amp hour Procore. Quite back heavy now, of course, with that big battery on it. Um, but it doesn't feel too bad in the hand. You have to use it for a while to really know whether that heavy battery was going to be a pain. But I've got a 4 amp hour Pro Core battery and the 4 amp hour that came with this sander. So we'll start with one of those first. And I'm going to try and sand off some of this printing that is on the back of these sheets of ply. Because the backs of them are better than the front on some of them. Well, on most of them. Which is extraordinarily disappointing. The dust bag hooks on the side here onto this bit. Just sort of wiggles its way on there, a bit tricky one handed. Just pops on like so. You can go sort of in different angles if you really wanted to. It's quite a nice spongy fabric bag. Interesting to see how good it goes. But I'm going to be using it with my Makita Vax. I'll be using this particular cuff that goes over this thing. So. It's a little bit tight, but it does fit, although it might be a bit tricky one-handed. Yeah, it goes on there quite good actually, fits on quite nicely because it's got those ribs on the on the tool itself. This is aluminium as well, it's not plastic. Um, because it's got those ribs, this sort of grips on pretty tight. It's not going to accidentally come off or anything, that's for sure. It's more likely to actually come off at this point here. It has a power button on the front, right where your hand sort of is, you can just boom, easily whack the power button to get yourself going. It's variable speed, top speed being 6 and lowest being 1. 1 being 6,000 RPM and 6 being 10,000 RPM. But is it any good? Let's see what it sounds like. Eh? Let's just give her a whirl. Nice sounding tool, nice and quiet. I'm going to put some pads on it and get sanding. Well, it got that ink jetting off, sweet as, so I'm stoked about that. And that was with a 100 grit Makita pad on there. And yeah, it feels nice in the hand. It's a nice sander to use. And I'll just show you the suction on the dust collection. In the video there, I had it running at half on the vac. So that's the Makita 40 volt vac. Had that on half power. I'm gonna stick it on full power and show you how much suck this thing has. I can't even slide it. So 
so she's very stuck in Malta. I'm now going to try one of these Diablo sand net sanding pads. It's a bit different to a usual sanding disc, which of course looks like this. We're all familiar with those, right? Well, this is a little bit different in that, yeah, you can see straight through it. It's just a, a fine mesh. Uh, this is a 220 grit, which is a bit fine for what I want to do, but we'll try it out anyway. I need to sand a heap of this timber that's got, uh, it's been pre-primed and it's a bit crappy in places and I'm just going to give it a scuff over um, for a project I'm going to do. See how it ends up with this. Uh, these are meant to last 10 times longer than one of these, so we'll maybe put that to the test too. Might be a bit tricky to test that, but we'll see how we go. Anyway, let's go give this a whirl. They come with a special backing pad. I'm guessing that's basically so you don't mess up this pad that you already have because you don't want to get this all full of dust where if this hair is you know full of holes as it is the dust will go straight through and clog up your pad it sticks on there perfectly well but they give you this sort of sacrificial pad which looks fairly similar doesn't seem to be that much different but you can use that instead of it stuffing up your good pad and it sticks on real well Although the holes don't line up with the sander at all, it's kind of weird, isn't it? Close enough? Right, Oop. let's go give that a whirl. Even though there's not much to it, it sticks real good. Let's go give it a whack. Even though that's only two, that's nice and smooth. Even though that's only 220 grit, it sure was removing that pretty fast. With such a fine, fine paper. Not too much stuff gunking in there. Let's carry on. I've got something else I need to do with this actually. I have a lot of this pre-loved Vitex decking timber that I've removed from parts of my property and stuff that I'm going to reuse in front of my shed, my little boardwalk. So they all need a freshen up, nice little sand to oil them once more. So I'm gonna give that a crack now. Still with that 220 grip pad. removing it really quick for a 220 I'd like to get um I don't know what they make these in I'd like to get something a bit more abrasive and see if we can really rip things down quick although to be honest that's probably enough for what I need for my deck doesn't have to be perfect just needs to smooth off again take the new oil right I've got the Makita here I've got the Bosch here We've got a 120 grit pad on each one, and I have another piece of Vitex here that needs a good cleanup. So I'm gonna do half and half, and just see how quick they are. See which can remove the most stuff the quickest. And to, to visually see that, I'm not putting any dust bags or any dust extraction on here, so we can see the dust coming out to see how well they're actually doing or not doing. For the amount removed, they were both fairly similar. They felt similar anyway. We'll see what they look like on the finished video next to each other. But they felt pretty similar. But the, the Bosch, much nicer to hold. Just ergonomically so much better in the hand. Just feels much nicer than the design of the Makita here. 
As you just saw, the Bosch stops much quicker than the Makita. The Makita just slowly comes to a halt. This stops pretty instantly. What about stalling? How good is it when you put a lot of pressure on it? Stall test. Top speed. Wow. <laughs> I was putting all my weight on that and it did not want to cut out. I, I stopped in the end for fear of destroying the thing. Let's test the Makita. So you're not going to have a problem with stalling either of those. Well, so far I am liking this little sander. It has been well used in the past few weeks doing plywood, window frames, the internal lining and what have you in my shed. I've done all sorts of things with it. Uh, decking boards, as you've seen. It's a really nice sander to use. I, I prefer it to the Makita. Okay, It's just so much nicer in the hand. That's just like the perfect shape. Um, does stick out a bit more than some other ones and the coming out the side here with the vac is a little bit more potentially in the way but I haven't actually tried to move it but it looks like I could easily just swivel that anyway to wherever you want it to go but it hasn't been a problem for what I've been doing I also like this sand net idea and I'm gonna get myself some more of those I think uh, they're from Diablo if you want to know more I'll see if I can find some links and put them down below. They come in 80 grit to 400 grit. No, 60 grit, sorry, to 400 grit. So I might get some sort of 120s, that's what I use for most things, and give them a whirl. So they don't clog up, it's good. It seems to, the dust goes through nicely. Plus if they did clog up a bit, because they're so flexible, you can just sort of take them off, give them a bit of a whack, and a lot of the stuff might fall out of the holes anyway. So yeah, I'm keen to try those a bit more. Right, what else is there to say? All the tests you saw pretty much were on the highest speed. You know, putting it up against the Makita and everything, they're all on the highest speed, so everything was fair. And yes, this is my new favorite sander. Just just the position like that is just makes it so much better. Pushing directly onto the sanding pad right above. You haven't got that extra height that a lot of the other ones have, like the Hikoki, Milwaukee, Ryobi, AG, Makita, that are a bit, a bit higher up here and yeah, not as comfortable to hold. This is more like a pneumatic sander and yeah just much much better design simple as that doesn't necessarily look at it first with the battery sticking out like that but yeah definitely definitely weighted well I do have some more Bosch stuff coming up soon if you have a wee look in the background there we've got a 64 millimeter 16 gauge brad nailer and a new rivet gun that goes up to quarter inch so if you want to see some more Bosch reviews, let me know down in the comments and remember to subscribe up here or down there or wherever so that you can get the notifications when these ones come out. And I will see you all on another video real soon. Cheers guys.